Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, March 22nd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. A warm forecast, a wet forecast here for central Alabama. Stop me if you've heard that recently. Here's your uh, look at uh, today. Showers moving into western Alabama. They'll be moving across the area today. Can't rule out uh, a stray clap of thunder or two, but I don't think any uh, thunder will be widespread. This activity will push into eastern Alabama today. High temperatures today, upper 60s to lower 70s across the area. Um, should be uh, a little bit of a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon. Uh, kind of a mild night tonight. Overnight lows between 54 and 60 with mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a chance of a shower here or there, either late in the day or through the overnight hours tonight. Now, cold front drops south into Alabama on Monday. Uh, we're starting out in the upper 50s. We're uh, topping out around 71 with a good chance of rain, especially during the morning and early afternoon. Clouds may thin out a bit late in the day, but uh, don't expect much in the way of sunshine. Uh, fairly mild night Monday night. Uh, those showers uh, moving on far to the south. And then Tuesday, uh, it, the, the things won't change very much. That uh, front uh, slides a little to the south, begins to come back north as a warm front. We've got a low pressure there in central Missouri by uh, Tuesday at noon. And uh, you can see the uh, retreating warm front moving to the north over Alabama. Chance of showers and storms during the day. It's going to be quite warm, 77 to 83 be the range of temperatures across the area. Uh, enough cape there for showers and thunderstorms uh, later in the day, Tuesday evening, Tuesday night. Um, if this timing is right off the GFS, we'll put it in here pretty late, which probably helps us from a, uh, an instability standpoint. But uh, as we've seen recently, uh, you can get storms in the middle of the night uh, in the south that can still uh, be quite deadly. And uh, I don't think that's going to be the case here, but we will have to watch for strong to severe thunderstorms Tuesday night across areas north of I-59. That activity looks like it moves on out pretty quick Wednesday morning. I think we get it on out of here, but no regime change as far as air masses go. We'll be between 78 83 on Wednesday uh, with increasing sunshine during the day. Um, it will be another warm one. But then we go into a little dry period Thursday noon. Uh, dry across Alabama, as you see, good supply of sunshine, high temperatures uh, ranging between 83 and 87. And then Friday, more of the same. Uh, we start off the day, uh, you know, in the 60s. It's going to be quite balmy. Uh, and we top out somewhere between 82 and 88. So this will be the warmest day of the year uh, so far for central Alabama. Now, another front starts to move our way uh, Friday night into Saturday, approaching front moving into the area. You can see a good chance of showers and thunderstorms moving into Alabama. Um, that, you know, can't rule out some sort of look there. It doesn't look severe especially, but I think we'll have strong storms if that uh, is the case. And that activity is going to be with us through Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Slow moving front, sort of running into this uh, stubborn subtropical ridge that's to the south of us. And uh, that means rain and thunderstorms will be likely. Uh, that rain continues into Sunday. Matter of fact, it doesn't really go anywhere through Monday. And if you look out in Voodoo Territory, this is April 1st. Uh, strong low pressure moving into the Great Lakes. Secondary low there in Arkansas. Uh, more rain and thunderstorms. And really, they're still with us on April 3rd. So, unfortunately, uh, a stormy, wet pattern, warm uh, pattern for Alabama. Now, rainfall amounts... Off the GFS, 16-day totals look like this, showing that a heavy strain concentration likely somewhere in the I-59 corridor. But uh, it looks like uh, anywhere from 4 to 6-inch rainfall amounts would be fairly common. 3 to 4-inch rainfall amounts to the south. Uh, doesn't look like many flooding opportunities in there, except when we get around the first of the month. So we'll see how that goes. But look at these temperatures. A um, you know, little cooler today. You know, these temperatures are a little underdone, probably. Really probably underdone till we get to, like, Thursday and Friday. You know, it might even be underdone then. But you can see mild through the weekend and then warm again as we start the month. But then, look at the temperatures plummet. That's sort of a preview. We're going to have another cold snap. Now, there might be a freeze in there somewhere. 
um, around that uh, Saturday the 4th, Sunday the uh, 5th, especially if this trend continues to play out. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, March 22nd. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, we'll have two days starting again tomorrow. I hope you keep you and your family safe as we go through these trying times in our nation and in our world. Be safe out there, and uh, always, when you can, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.